guys, are you ready to try another Pinterest animal fruit plate? So, here we go. Today, we're going to make some simple things and some hard things. So, let's start with the easiest thing, which is just taking a skewer, one of these bad boys, that you would use to do like a shish kebab on, and we are just going to fill him up with grapes. So I think it's easiest if you put the hole through the hole that's already made of the grape and then push it all the way down. And I'm using the sharp end. And then when you get to the end for the top, I'm just gonna put his head on sideways like that. Try to center it better than I just did. Should we recenter it? There we go. So here is, it's like a caterpillar. Now you can cut these way down so they're not quite so long, but it's fine if they're this long. If your kids really like grapes, do this. So now what you're gonna do is we're gonna put a little face on him. Okay, so I'm gonna take some chocolate chips and just melt them in my microwave at about 15 seconds at a time and giving them a stir each time just so they don't get scorched. Okay, so it took about two sets of 15 seconds in my microwave. So I just put them in a little baggie. I'm gonna take this napkin that is ridiculously long, there we go, <laughs> and just dry off my grape that I'm gonna be drying on because you wanna make sure his face is nice and dry. And then I'm just gonna snip the end of my baggie and you need just a teeny tiny cut at the very bottom. And then we're going to do a little dot for one eye, and a little dot for the other eye, and then a little tiny smile. There's my eyeball one. And there's your eyeball two. My eyeball two. And it's just that easy. So we'll let him dry, and then as the chocolate hardens, the eyeballs should stay on. <laughs> He's getting dopey. Okay, so let's set him aside for a minute. I hope you keep your eyeballs on there, buddy. And let's make another grape guy. Now this guy is kind of cute. He is made, should we do the dog or the turtle? The dog. The dog, okay. So the dog, you're going to need green grapes and toothpicks. So make sure if you're making this one, don't give it to, you know, like your little, little kids because there's going to be a lot of toothpicks involved in this one. And now you can cut your toothpicks or toothpicks are really easy just to break in half. Again, these are going to be for your older kids, like Bella's age. You have little kids, don't do it. So I'm just going to bust a bunch of Q-tips in half here. Okay, so for the body, you just want this uh, one that's about, I don't know, two-thirds of the length. And you are going to put two grapes onto him. So I probably could have left him whole. We'll find out. So there's one grape. And you want to hide that stick. And that made me have a great idea. Like, if your parents love this, you can make these for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Or Father's Day. That would be really fun. Okay, so now my stick is hidden inside there. So that is going to be his actual body. And then poking out from his body, we're going to just use this little stick. And poke it like kind of up at an angle. And you're just going to pop on another grape. Like that. It will all come together here in the end, I promise. It does not look like much yet, but it will. Yeah, it will. And then you're going to pop on two on each for his legs. So then for his legs, you can pop on a grape on each leg. His legs are so fat. He's got chunky little legs. Yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> so pop on a couple grapes. There are his little legs. That's so cute. And that's his tail on the back. Oh, that, I thought that was a head. <laughs> so now we need to work on his head, though. Come. 
Comment down below if you thought that was a tail or a head. <laughs> so for his head, we're gonna have his head go this way and then his ears come up off the head like this. So I will show you. So you're gonna poke into his head two ears. So kind of like in the center, like this. And then we're gonna have his ears come. And then again with his other ear. Right through the hole. So now we have two ears. Try to find two grapes that are the same size. We did not do that. Yeah. And then for his neck, we're too lazy. We're gonna use a full Q to a full toothpick and poke one and two here. And then we're gonna poke another one going the long way. I hope I'm explaining this. If not, you can see exactly what I'm doing. Don't put good all the way through. And now we have a little bit left here that we can now attach it to his body. Try to attach it. Oh. oh no. Head overboard. Head overboard, head overboard. There you go. Aww. He's sticking to his head. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, that was not the goal. I didn't know what it is. Sorry, Mr. Grape. There we go. Let me hold him up so you can see him. I'll take a better picture when we're done. That's so funny. But there he is. There is our Mr. Grape dog. What do you guys I think? I thought it was a giraffe. No, it's supposed to be a balloon dog. <laughs> a balloon dog. <laughs> you have to hold his head, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's something fun to have your kids do because he's a uh, he's something else. You like him, Bella? I love him. <laughs> he's eating the kiwi. He was. Sorry, buddy. No. Keep your head straight. Okay. Now let's do the next one, which involves a kiwi and grapes again. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is slice up a kiwi. So. Bella, do you want to, how are we going to peel this bad boy? I don't know how you peel a, a, peel a kiwi. I don't either. So peel a kiwi first. Okay, so once you have your kiwi peeled, which took me a hot minute, but I actually just used a spoon and went around it like this and kind of detached it. And then I trimmed it up with my knife. Yeah. So now in order to do this, you're just going to slice. I think I'm going to do this into thirds. So I got one two, three. And then we're gonna take some grapes. With this, you're gonna need three grapes for each one. And your grapes, you're going to cut them in half this way. And these are gonna be his little feet. I guess I could have left my kiwis a little bit chubbier, but I didn't. So this, it's all about just the placement of your grapes to your kiwi. And then taking your grape, drying it off. I just use a paper towel. Take your chocolate once again, and we're just gonna, how should the head go, like this or like this? Probably like that, huh? And then you can, what well, if you do it like that way, and then the other ones you do it different ways. Yeah, you can switch it up if you want. And there's his eyes. Okay, and here they all are. What do you think? They're cute. Are these fun? I'll tell you what, easy. Not hard, not hard, but kind of annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little annoying. Um, With this one, I would say asking an adult for some help, because like the knife. I would say asking an adult for help with all of them because they do include pokey things. Yeah. Just because of the long skewer, the toothpicks, definitely be careful with that. <laughs> I was forgot there's toothpicks in there. Yeah. But anyway, this is our little grape fruit plate with the kiwi. Yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.